Ed Westwick stars as Chuck, the overly confident, sexy, and troublemaking bad boy who never met a scarf he didn't like. Uh, Ed was recently seen in two high-profile high features, Children of Men and Breaking and Entering. Please welcome Ed Westwick. Leighton Meester is Blair Waldorf, Serena's BFF and competitor. Uh, after making her television debut when she was 13 on Law & Order, she got her breakout role as singer Justine uh, Chapin, Chapin on HBO's Entourage. Please welcome Leighton Meester. So for the cast, did you guys, I mean, did you all, was this like a big pilot that you had heard about? Like, was this something that you guys were all like, oh, Gossip Girl, gotta get that, gotta get that, gotta get that. Or was this, I mean, what did you think? What, were you, were you, what was the initial, like, grab of the show? Uh, I, I first heard about it by reading about it. Actually, I'm, I, my agent and my manager told me about it, like, maybe a couple weeks in advance, and then I read it and loved it, and that's how all that started. Did you immediately think, like, I'm Blair, I'm totally Blair? Well, <laughs> you know like, I, I, <laughs> the funny thing is, I say, like, yes, I was, I, it was meant to be, but I think that once something happens, that's when it's meant to be, but by the time I got it, I was like, it was destined to be from the beginning, so, yeah. Except you were blonde at the time. Yeah. I was. And, and was I had blonde what? hair. Was that was like, I mean, Blair's, she's the brunette. She is, a, that's a big She's the complicated one. She's complicated. She's, no, it's, she's brunette. And the, <laughs> and the network, which has been amazing and supportive of the show, we're like, she's a great, she's great, but, but she's blonde. And we're like, she could also be brunette. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, dyed your hair during the audition process. Yeah, and that's I tried way. to show up in a wig one day. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. It doesn't work. Can you actually do it? And I was like, I didn't get it yet, but I guess I can do and, it. And then I've not gone back. If you ask a young actress during the middle, a young blonde actress in the middle of pilot season to dye her hair brown, you better be pretty damn sure you can get her the role. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Were you looking to do a TV series or? No, I wasn't at all. I, I knew that there was a lot thing in the world I wanted to do but also before I started acting I knew that that was the last thing in the world I wanted to do and then I did sister and I was like this is fantastic I love it um, and then I sat down and met with Josh and Stephanie and it's a big commitment signing away six years of your life to one character one cast one one job but they were just so passionate about everything from from the se the set to the other actors to the wardrobe to every storyline and it was just so great because you take so many meetings with big studio executives or, or you hear about people that just sign their name off on a project. They just stamp it and that's it and they're not involved. But to meet people who were our executive producers and creators that were, were so involved and were, were so excited to be doing what they were doing, it was just, it, it excited me and made me really want to be a part of it. But you made us promise that yes. in no season would your character ever be locked in a cage. <laughs> it was that. Locked in a cage Wait, and brainwashed what? by an old lady right. addicted to cough syrup with rattlesnakes. It happened to my sister. What? I also what show? Real life. What the yeah. hell show was your sister on? Was she on some kind of like it snuff was, film show? It was WB, <laughs> Oh, but, Savannah. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, we, all, we all remember another Savannah. Promise. It was the, another promise was I no pet monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck has a matching pet monkey with coordinating outfits, and I was like, I would love to be part of the show, but I can't act with a monkey. <laughs> and then I got a few of them. <gasps> I'm just kidding. She's got a few of them. Come on, it was a joke. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> That's, that, was, that was a lot of information about cages, and I'm sorry, I was still thrown off by that stuff. He was like, wow. <laughs> um, who else didn't want to act in a cage? <laughs> well, well, some of them started. in a cage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you, for the guys, though, did, you, did any of you guys, um, or any of you, did you guys audition for any of the roles that you didn't end up getting? Like, did, oh, Ed, what did you? I'm supposed to uh, win, win up for this, uh, this young man's part, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't work out. What? Didn't work out. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. No. That would have been. <laughs> that was Ed. <laughs> Ed came in and read for for Nate, and we're like, this guy is super compelling. But I was also he's blonde at that point. I mean, I was up for Serena for one. <laughs> Weird. And you were both blonde. We're both blonde. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still am on a Thursday night. Right? <laughs> What's <laughs> <he saying? laughs> um, all right, so you guys are filming now in New York City, which, I mean, I don't, you know, you're like, I don't know, for people that, you know, live in LA, um, New York, I mean, New York fans, I'd say, are very, 
you know, vocal and, I mean, I've d walked by the set a number of times and heckled you all. Um, but do you, I mean, <laughs> are, what it's like filming on the streets? Are people like, Serena Blair? You know, are they, do they yell at you guys? Do they, you know, is Sometimes. it? Sometimes. Yeah. But we love them. They're all like, I mean, obviously. <laughs> but we, I mean, they, they are the girls who we're portraying in the show. They're, yeah. We shoot in the Upper East Side and there's these girls in their uniforms and their Hermes bags coming up and they're, you know, they're huge fans of the show and I feel like we're doing something great. What? <laughs> so Someone sorry. That's I right. need to learn to let it go. I can't. Sorry. I was, well, was I'm charming. practicing. I thought it was charming. I thought <laughs> Speaking of people that aren't always liked by the fans, um, Ed, where... Uh, <laughs> Um, what did I do? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean Chuck. Chuck, Chuck is a, a polarizing uh, fellow, I'd say. Um, but my question, the first question I have about Chuck is, where did the scarves thing come from? Is that your own? That would be a thing? question yeah, for Eric Diamond. Oh, that's uh, the book. Yeah. Oh, 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 actually, we were um, shooting at the Palace Hotel the other day, last week, and there was a guy outside who had a scarf. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I was going to go and get mine out of the trailer, put it on, <laughs> walk around things together, you know. All right, fine, fine. <laughs> um, I understood the word, word scarf. Got <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, going with the checkered jacket today, you know, trying to mix it up. Uh, I, uh, so, uh, Chase, I'm going to move on to you. Um, Nate seems like the most unhappy person on the show, I feel like. <laughs> uh, did, right? He's sort of like, I think he, he like, he's more brooding than like Dylan McKay or like, like James D. Like he makes those people look happy. Um, it's all the pot, man. I mean, God. Uh, what, I mean, what do you think it's going to take for, I mean, wh why is it that he's so unhappy? Is he just that he hates this world? That he, I mean, does he hate himself? Um, he, Let's go inside who yeah. Nate is. <laughs> Best, his best friend's me, for both sides. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> He's, um, yeah, Nate's so dark, isn't he? No, uh, I, I think the whole, you know, the whole family thing with your, you know, dad doing blow and all, I don't know if maybe that has something to do with it. Um, he, uh, yeah, he's conflicted. What can I say? <laughs> I don't know what to say. But yeah, I, I think that um, he's going to have, you know, opportunities to come out of a shell more and mm -hmm. sort of... You know, see a side of Nate that's yeah. not so pot smoking. <laughs> well, it seems like uh, Taylor, uh, Jenny seems to kind of be honing in on Nate a bit. I feel like she's a little. Not she spends happening. a lot of time. It's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already talked to, to Dan about this. <laughs> you could get happier, old. though. I mean, it could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I talked to Rufus. Didn't, he's not. Age difference, man. I don't know. Hey, I think she's like more like a little sister to him. Oh, okay. Possibly. But I don't think she sees you as a. I think she sees you as like an older brother that's not related to her who she wants to date. <laughs> uh, Leighton, so you in the finale, uh, clearly you, uh, Blair, kind of lost her power and everything. Is it, is it less fun to play Blair kind of weak and less like bitchy, or is she gonna be? Is she gonna be less bitchy because? Well, she's not weak, I guess, but will she be less bitchy now that she's not like Queen Bee? I would not like that. Look at that. Um, I, w w what's the question? Is it more well, fun? Be, is it, well, actually, yeah. Is it more fun? Do you, do you like playing her as the villain, like the Queen Bee villain? Or do you like this kind uh, of new, like... I like a little her? both. I like a little both. I think that she, you know, she kind of lost her footing a little bit because she let all these things kind of get the best of her, um, in the beginning of the series. And now, uh... She's, you know, been dethroned by somebody who she deemed beneath her, so she's kind of got a dose of reality. Um, but I, I mean, I, I really like seeing the human in her and, you know, playing that so that not everybody hates me um, in real life. But, um, I, I mean, it's really fun and, and, I mean, I would like to stay a challenge to be bitchy, but not too much. <laughs> <laughs> When you guys, when you um, first read that Blair and Chuck were gonna get together, what was your initial reaction? I mean, did you, were you? Yes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, that's perfect. They're perfect for each other. He understands her like nobody else does. Yeah. So. There was no trepidation. You weren't like, oh, this is gonna be. The fans won't like this. Oh, for the show, yeah. In yeah. real life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So, Ed, what did you? Were you what did you think about that twist? Yes. Two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at her. Come on. Uh, um, no, I thought it was a. Um, <laughs> come on. Be serious, yeah. Um, I thought it was a very interesting turn. I think you know, uh, 
Uh, a lot of people wanted to see them together because they're so much alike in certain ways. But um, I don't know, I just think, uh, you know, opposites attract and when two people that are the same, it could be it's like fire with fire, you know, and that's what kind of happened in the end. Um, but never say never. Who knows where it will where it will go and maybe we'll come full circle again. Well, now you're living with uh, Serena, so, you know, <laughs> joining, joining rooms. Um, when is the filthy youth performing in Los Angeles and when can we buy the city? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not we're performing no. in New York next Saturday, so jump on the plane. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> keep uh, keep looking on the MySpace. Who knows? Well, explain. That's your band. Huh? Explain to people that don't know. We what call it a band. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And what do you? And what do you play? Like? Four filthy. Five. Five. There's five. Five filthy Englishmen. And that's about it. Really. <laughs> you know. um, yes, it's a band. Um, we play music. <laughs> <laughs> that we featured on our show, two songs. Yep. Ed's the lead singer. He often plays shirtless. From a record company. <laughs> <laughs> Come and me. And they're playing next Saturday. Yeah, we're playing on Saturday, as I just said, at the Annex. March 29th. In New York, if anyone's there, come down. Yeah. Where are you playing next Saturday? We're playing at the Annex in New York. Um, I know very little about it. Um, what time? My I've band members are arriving on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> haven't played in two months. Showed up shirtless, you know, I'm just um, And, yeah, we're going to try and put on a show. Probably be a shambles. Um, <laughs> but... Who you are selling this so <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shy type of guy. <laughs> hey, this is a really important question, mostly for Leighton and Blake, but do you guys get to keep your wardrobe? <laughs> <laughs> that is important. Very good. It's very important. <laughs> this is wardrobe. This is wardrobe. This was on the return rack. I think it was hers. So I had to go and like slip them cash to wear it today. Um, no, uh, some of it, if the, the designers lend it to us, um, uh, the designers will sometimes say they, they can take it home. Um, but then sometimes we have to slip it in our purse. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teasing. I, I do. I, the, the problem is, um, I'll, I have a shopping problem. So I won't buy it after I first try it on at the wardrobe fitting, and then I'll like think about it for a few weeks and obsess over it, and then the episode will air, and I'll have to go online to buy it, and it'll be sold out everywhere in all stores online because of the it has the website, the CW website lists all of our outfits, and I'll see these girls in the Upper East Side wearing my dog on sweater, and it makes me so <laughs> mad. But um, I've had to send a few things over from like Europe. Um, so I have a bit of a problem. But a lot of this stuff I is do like one of a kind, on loan designer stuff that's like only runway. So we get to borrow stuff and send it back. But I always say like I love the stuff that we wear, but a lot of the time we don't even get to show it as much. Like we wear fabulous shoes. Yeah, amazing. fabulous. And you'll see them for like a second. So we get our shoes sometimes. They like to. Get Should we be shoes. lifting <laughs> legs then? Is that yeah. What you're doing? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a background. Like, oh, like hold them. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of things they make too, which is cool. Like my bathing suit was uh, the mixture of like three different bathing suits and a belt from a dress. And then they had to take it apart because one part was a bikini and another was a one piece. And then they had to take it apart and send each piece back to the designer, which was sad. So the things that they make, we don't get to keep. All right. Oh, go ahead. My question is actually for Josh and Stephanie. In the OC, uh, Summer started out as kind of the bitchier character. She kind of calmed down a little bit. No offense to uh, the lovely Leighton here, but Blair is kind of the bitchier character. Something in common I see is a brunette uh, hair color. Is there a reason for that? With the hand on the hip, I think we'll be casting you next. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Uh, well, the, the whole the sort of design of the show was that you know you, when you come into the pilot, you know Serena is the sort of like the the heroine, I guess, and Blair seems like she's the villain. But you know, it's in, in the books. And, uh, and also our plan in the series was that they would, some episodes you'd be sympathizing with Blair and, and hating Serena and vice versa and that, you know, occasionally they'd pass each other on the sympathy flow chart. And so I think, you know, they're both supposed to be flawed uh, characters who have both good and bad attributes and I think in, depending on an episode to episode, um, you feel differently about each character. Agreed. 
I think it makes more sense when you're watching a show that there's not an obvious choice between good and evil. So she would seem like the obvious choice, but she's also got you know flaws as well. But um, it, I think I'm just brunette because of the books. And and everyone it. knows blondes are nicer anyway. <laughs> 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 oh, over there. Okay. moment by me. 